Ski Studios in the house. Representing one year clean, son. What's up? Oh man. Another day, another dollar, man. Like I always say. If you can't do it this way, then you gotta do it that way. And uh my road to recovery, I'll tell you, like at the beginning of this time, uh I you know, I, I went to a sober house. It just wasn't working out for me, you know what I mean? It wasn't working out for me. And I wanted to do something different, and that just, I, it just wasn't it. And I just, like, was like, you know what? <laughs> Whether I do it here or I do it somewhere else, I'm still going to have to do the same thing. You got you to gotta bite the bullet and just realize, like, yo, I got to stay clean. I know I'm glistening a little bit, but I ain't going to lie. It's hot as hell in this room. Uh, but, uh, so you know what I mean? I had to go back live at my father's house, where I'm actually still cur cur currently residing today. I uh, walked my first day like to a meeting, and I went from there. You know what I mean? Uh, I have one friend that's been there, you know, through the whole time that I talk to regularly, and. Uh, He's going to be the one that's going to present me with my one-year thing, my one-year medallion thing. And uh, I met a couple people, like, in, in the program. I switched which fellowship I went to. I still kind of, I still kind of do back and forth, but um, you know what I mean? I started working out a little bit. Every day I try to do do a little bit something. I don't do nothing crazy, but I do a little bit. You know what I mean? Try to eat healthy. I try to connect with people every day. You know what I mean? Hey, I'm, hey, guess what? I'm not perfect. I used to box and, you know what I mean, to, to get clean. And some people sit there and say, oh, you're not clean. You know what? This is what you got to do. You got to realize that it's what you think in your head. And if you let these other mother effers get to you, then then it could throw it all away. And uh, it really messed with me. It really did because, like, I, I started thinking, like, oh, if my clean time don't count... Then, then why can't I just drink? And uh, it really did get to me. Like, you know what I mean? Like, I played it off. Like, it didn't bother me. It bothered me. You know what I mean? Like, I wanted to, like, flip, honestly. Honestly, I wanted to go back and be like, you know what? F you and <laughs> what's up, bro? You know what I mean? You act you act like a nice guy, but you're really a piece of shit. You know what I mean? That's how I felt. You know what I mean? And uh, I don't know. I don't know if that guy thinks he's helping. Like, according to a lot of people, he's a nice guy, but... I don't know, man. You think you're helping somebody, but you're helping me by telling me I'm not clean. And, and multiple people have said, like, the way that they think straight up is that whether I use Suboxone or I use fentanyl, don't matter. It's the same thing. I'm not clean. And that's what really got to me. But you know what? F what they think. You know what I mean? It's what I think. And you know what? I know I'm clean. And I know this. I personally, like, personally, I would have killed somebody to get to where I am right now. And, uh... I'm here, man. You know what I mean? It's not over. Obviously, it's not over. But I'll tell you, like, every day you get a little bit farther away. I, it's like almost like gravity to the earth. You know what I mean? You're taking off in a rocket, and the farther you get away, the less the gravity affects you until you're in outer space and there is no more gravity. You know what I mean? But I don't think, you know, obviously, it's not um, ever going to 100% fully go away just because you might not feel it. But, you know, it might be pulling on you and you don't realize you're getting a little bit closer to it. So you always got to keep your eyes open. You know what I mean? Hey, my channel, dude, I didn't even think it was going to be like this. This is like some, like, I don't know. I, I don't know if this is like, if I'll even continue doing it not forever. Or if I'm going to change it and eventually figure out how to pull these effing videos up. You know what I mean? But, um, and I always say, oh, I'm going to do more. I'm going to do more. And I never do. Especially recently, man. But, um, you know, I, I came a long way, man. I don't know. I guess I'll go into a story because that's what I uh, always did at the beginning, too. You know, um, one day when I was out there in the streets, you know, I wasn't even hooked on uh, the opiates yet. But uh, I was partying at a house, right? And we got the music up loud, whatever, right? And uh, there's a knock on the door. Dude goes down to the door opens up the door it's the cops and the cops come in no the cops see something they see drug paraphernalia in the house so they friggin they uh 
come into the house, they handcuff everybody up, you know what I mean, and uh, they find drugs on the on the dude's house that it was, or they had drugs out, and uh, the dude gets arrested, we all get booted out of the house. Well, the dude's um, girl lived in the house, and uh, she had kids and stuff, and she was like fighting to get her kids back. Well, anyways... You know, they went through the whole house. They ripped, you know, they they ripped everything apart and whatever else. But uh, so they boot everybody out. And uh, later that night, the girl calls me up, and she's like, uh, "I'm scared to go back to the house. There's a bunch of drugs there, and uh, I'm afraid that they're gonna take my kids." She's like, "Can you go back and and get them out for me?" I'm like, let's get them out for you, dude. I'm not, I'm not doing that. Like, like for what? You know what I mean? I'm, I'm risking off and nothing. She's like, you, you go there, you can keep them. It was uh, about thirty thousand dollars worth of drugs. <laughs> and uh, me and a couple of my friends, we went back there, and uh, it was like an apartment building. So. You know, we're going, me, one kid drove, um, me and the other kid went in, and uh, so as we're trying to get the door open, somebody comes out from the, from the apartment across the hall. It's somebody I actually know very well. And uh, they're like, oh, what are you doing? We're like, oh, no, nah, we're just seeing if they're home. You know what I mean? Obviously, we're not, we can't say what we're really there for. So we walk out of the building, he leaves too, we talk to him for a minute, we leave. Boom, we go back, you know, and uh, my buddy knew what he was doing. He knew how to get the door open. Even though it was taking us forever the first time. I don't know if it was nerves or whatnot, you know what I mean? We didn't see nobody out there. We went we went back to the house, and it was actually in the uh, dishwasher, you know, the electronic dishwasher. It was underneath. And, uh, dude, the house was ripped apart, too. You know what I mean? Like, I left before... Uh, they, what they really did to the house, but everything was ripped apart. Dude, the couches were cut open. The fr- Dude, it, it was crazy. It, it, but the one place they missed, you know what I mean? And uh, we ended up going in there, and uh, I came out of that building looking like the State Puff Marshmallow Man, dude. No lie, bro. I had stuff down each, each of my pants, friggin' my arms. The other kid did too, man. Friggin' straight up, like, <laughs> score. Uh... You know, and the girl thanked us. But it's crazy because obviously the the cops weren't going back there. Because if they were, we would have, you know what I mean? I would have got caught. You know what I mean? They would have been watching. They would have blocked the, the apartment off. and uh, Or at least had somebody watching to see who's going there. You know what I mean? No harm, no foul though. You know what I mean? They, they were, thank God that, that, you know, they didn't because we would have got smoked, bro. You know what I mean? The kid driving the car, he didn't really do any risk at all, dude. Parked down the street. You know what I mean? That was like, yeah, I'd see. It, it, like, you know, we split it. You know what I mean? We split the money. So, whatever. You know what I mean? When In reality, dude, me and the kid going in should have should have took more for the one doing the risk and all that. You know what I mean? Like, a lot, uh, um... And like, you know, it's like every everything you go through that just works out, it just makes it seem that much more easier to stay on that side of the law. You know what I mean? Anytime I jack somebody, anytime, you know what I mean? And it just, uh, you don't, you don't like, you know, th- there's no negative consequences. Why are you going to change your ways if there's no negative consequences? And that's why, like, too, like, you know, I, I always bring God into it every time. But that's why I know that God got my back. Like, you know, you don't think he would have somebody's back like me. The people I hurt and everything else, like, but he did. Because, like, I stopped using without, without no negative you know, I, I was I was depressed. I was very depressed. So that is a negative, con- but not really. You know what I mean? Compared to what could have happened, jail, death. You know what I mean? Usually, it takes something like that. Overdose. I I'd say no way because I've overdosed so many times, and that's why like I dedicate all this stuff to all my friends that are alive and the ones that aren't alive no more. They saved my life because I'll tell you like. 
nobody, nobody would have, would have, if you were a betting person, there's no way in hell you would have bet on me making it. You know what I mean? All those overdoses, you'd be like, yo, this kid is like on, has like a death wish. And uh, I won't say I had a death wish, but I definitely didn't care. Didn't care if I lived anymore. You know what I mean? I ain't like perfect right now. You know, like I'm fighting to get my license back or whatever. You know, I uh, did a down payment with the lawyer the other week. You know, and that last lawyer I had screwed me, screwed me. No way, no way you're getting convicted of this, no way. And then the day I tried, you know what I mean? Like I, I told my father, yo, screw this, I'm gonna fire him and I'm gonna do it. My father was pissed at me, you know what I mean? But it's like, you kidding me? When else am I gonna get, you know what I mean? Like I wanted to take that to trial myself. You know what I mean? Get in there, get the jury laughing, get him liking the, liking the man. You know what I mean? I can't say the kid, man, because I'm not a kid no more. But get him in there, tell him a couple of jokes. When else am I going to get an experience like that? To go up in front and have a judge, have the jury, everybody call for me to go in there and throw a couple of jokes together? Boy, I'm, I'll be having people laughing. If I can get them laughing, I'm making them laugh for my life, my freedom. You know what I mean? It is what it is. You know what I mean? Terrence Kennedy, the lawyer... Out of effort, you suck. If you, if anybody out there is thinking about using him, don't do it. The guy is terrible. You know what I mean? No way you're getting convicted of this day of trial. Bro, there's no way we're winning. And then I find out that I pled out to what I would have lost if I went to trial. Now, why couldn't I go up there and make a couple jokes for the, for the jury? That would have been awesome, bro, to get everybody together, prosecute everything for me to get a chance to go up there. But it just would have been sick, bro. It would have been sick. You know, the you know had to go back to jail over this DUI, like all this stuff. But I, but in reality, that last DUI saved my life, and at least I could still get my license back. You know what I mean? Like, I wouldn't. You know what I mean? Like, if I wasn't wasn't an addict or anything, I would have said, "Yo, three strikes, you're out, bro. You ain't getting a license again. You know what I mean? You ain't getting one again." <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> you're a terrible person. You're a terrible driver. You're gonna kill somebody. You know, luckily, thank God, I was never really in no accidents. You know what I mean? One time, dude, I was at the drive through in McDonald's, and I was drinking, had a, had a Bud Light and a cup holder, right? And, and someone's in front of me. And I, t I have a car load of people. I go, yo, I'm going to bump that car. They're like, you ain't bumping the car. Oh, I won't? I bumped the car. I drove up and hit it with my car. Bump. Like, dude, that's, that's some a-hole stuff, bro. You know what I mean? Because I didn't care. If you challenge me... I was going to do the opposite just to prove you wrong, no matter how stupid it is. You know what I mean? But I thank God, bro. I thank God for having my back. I ain't, I ain't, I'm, right now, like, I pray every night to never forget. Never forget what I've been through. Never forget the drugs. Never forget none of that. You know what I mean? Anybody got any questions, anything, man, you want me to do or a video I should do on? You know what I mean? I'll do it. You know, and, and to, and to just, like, the, the scumbag people that I came through, came through, like, out there in the streets that I met. You know what I mean? People I, you know, people I hung out with and, and, and everything else, dude. That kid, Adam Montgomery, that was there in uh, Manchester. You know, he's, he's came around some of these people and maybe even me. And, uh, and that's, that's some scumbag stuff, bro. You're gonna, you're gonna... And your daughter's breathing? That's terrible, man. That's like, to me, you hurt kids. It's the worst thing in my book. That's the worst thing you could do. You know what I mean? Worse than anything else. You know what I mean? Kids are innocent, innocent kids. And that kid was like, what, five? I, I don't know, but a girl too? A it doesn't really matter at that age, but dude, a, a female little kid, bro, deserves to burn in hell. You know what I mean? Like, I, I just hope... You know what I mean? I, I, I don't know. He don't deserve to have a peaceful life. You know what I mean? He's lucky he's in New Hampshire. Because, cause, uh, this, what are they called? The, the gang they got up there, the Saints. It stands for S-A, Infants and Toddlers. When someone told me that, I couldn't even believe That was at the sober house I was at this last time. When someone told me that that's what it stood for. S-A, Infants and Toddlers. I can't say the first two parts because, I, I don't know, I think they'll give me a strike or something. But, dude, like, that's some, dude, like, you know, they let them roam free. Supposedly, it's close to 50% of the inmates up in New Hampshire are, are them. 
are the SAs or the SOs. You know what I mean? The Skinners for you guys in Massachusetts. You know what I mean? Skinners for skin beef. You know what I mean? Like, you know, and now you see all these people on the news, like, doing stuff to kids, man. You know, some of them are from over the border. You know, there was a dude from uh, Lowell that just, this just happened the other day. Made national news. 21-year-old boyfriend. The girl was, uh, 8th grade. And, and it was his girlfriend. And he killed her, dude. He killed her. He was beating her up. Everybody in her, her family and everything knew. And they didn't do nothing. No, nobody stopped it. Nobody did nothing, man. And the, and the girl's now dead. You know what I mean? It's just terrible, terrible stuff, man. But, hey, one year clean, bro. One year clean and serene. Sober Cobra. Roll over in the Range Rover. I don't know, man. God bless you all. It is what it is, man. I, You know... I'm going to do my best, but you know what? It might not be another two weeks. It might it might not be another month. I don't know. Anybody out there, man, that knows how to how to do this computer stuff, like I ask all the time, man, or, or even like a co-host, man. I'd like a co-host that's on the same level as me, man. We could do it, bro. You know what I mean? Like, I'd love to have a co-host. And if you knew a computer's even better, man, cause we'll kill this. I'm open book about all my life, so, you know what I mean? You got to be open like that. You got to be able to... Say the truth. God bless and have a great day. Peace out. Ski Studios out.